so I don't know when though. Yo, 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 yo. What up, Shmin does. What up, y'all? If you're new, welcome to Attorney. What up, though? Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out that truck up on in the description below. Here we go. Another react video. Everything wrong with the ring in 14 minutes or less. So no sense. Let's get into it. Um, yeah, this might be boring, so who knows? They could have nitpick everything. Let's get into this. The ring. I barely remember this movie. The spoilers. Duh. I hate television. Hating television. Girls are hanging out together in a bedroom and I see no evidence of a pillow fight. And then the phone rang. It was a week ago. Joan of Arcadia's viewing of the tape just happened to be one week ago today. At the precise time, the effects of watching it will give a proper demonstration of its power. Two minutes mm. after her friend randomly mentioned the rumor she heard about said tape. It really is a tape. Or, now get this, someone you might know might be calling you at the ungodly hour of 10 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> what's someone she knew calling her at the ungodly hour of 10 p.m.? <laughs> <laughs> Even when the demon has a precise killing deadline, it prefers to mess with its victim first before doing the killing. Also, if Katie were outside right now, would the TV turn on by itself, with the static, or with the swimming pool? When the TV turns itself <laughs> on to static twice in a row, either you've done drank too much, or run, bitch! Becca, quit it! Teenager right. blames best friend upstairs for what is clearly an electrical or paranormal phenomenon. Huh? Mm -hmm. Wait, that's an actor without makeup or CGI to make him look evil? That's just how he naturally looks. Ah! Child in a horror movie draws disturbing things cliche. Yes, I understand, but these pictures are Aiden's way of working it out. Rachel interrupts the teacher so that the interesting information can be delivered more dramatically. I'm just saying, the <laughs> rule six here suggests that students in this classroom are walking at all times, as opposed to sitting at their desks listening to the teacher. Katie knew. She told me. Wait, wait. Katie told you about this horrific videotape she watched, and she was talking about it like she knew for a fact it was going to kill her? And she told this to her nine-year-old cousin? Maybe she deserved to die. I don't know. Also, considering what we saw at the beginning of the movie with Katie just chilling with her best bud, Becca, does this look like someone who's scared they're going to die at any moment? <laughs> Child calls character we've understood to be his mother by her first name to further confuse mm. the dynamic cliche. Have you seen my black dress? You mean your nine-year-old kid? Sure, he keeps tabs on his mom's black dresses. <laughs> Aiden's mom walks around the house like this. Mm. It's great for us, sure. But the kid? No wonder he draws people buried in the ground all the time. And as it turns out, he did know where the dress was. He even put it out for her, which seems nice until you realize he went into his mother's room and took it without asking or telling her about it. Also, Naomi Watts isn't my girlfriend, wife, or even my mom in the seat. You all right, Dave? Sure, just did a wait for my recently deceased daughter. I feel just like that dude in the sixth sense. Yeah. I saw her face. What was she doing in a closet? That tape. The one that kills you when you watch it. Oh, please. What was on the tape? I agree, Rachel. This tape killer seems pretty amazing when you're awake. The girl who just died. Josh, is, is he here? Josh is dead. Information you'd think Katie's mom would have heard about through the normal course of an investigation. But, nah. Concerned mother who came up here to retrieve her child will now, after the child has wandered off unattended, spend several minutes exploring the dead girl's bedroom and ignoring her child. Warped faces in a photograph definitely means evil spirits. And not, for instance, a terrible cameraman moving the camera at the time of the picture. Or Photoshop. A lot of the stuff written on this newspaper is a bunch of vague bullshit. This should be a full-blown police investigation at this point, right? You have a girl who died mysteriously, and her secret boyfriend died on the same night. As did two other kids. Two kids that Adam Brody from the OC neglected to mention because it wasn't ready to be revealed in the movie yet. Also, three kids from the same high school die on the same night at 10 p.m., and the media doesn't turn that into a full-blown front-page story. What happened mm -hmm. yesterday to knock these kids off the front page? Pearl Harbor? Also, did the ghost toy with the other three kids like it did with Katie? Or did it actually kill them at precisely 10 p.m.? Because remember, Katie's mom called at 10 p.m., and she was still allowed to live another five minutes after that. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm cooking too good a story. About a videotape that kills teenagers when they want- Oh, sh I am fired, aren't I? Well, it's not a movie shot in the Seattle area unless it's a helicopter shot establishing a car driving someplace through the woods. A card. Any card. Movie tries to make this minor character memorable by having him perform sh magic. They were in cabin 12. We didn't pay. They didn't? They How the did? hell did they get the cabin then? I'll take cabin 12. Wait, why does she have to pay to get the cabin if this horrible business doesn't even take payment to rent the cabin in the first place? I love how the videotape killed several kids, and even if they watched it here on the campsite way before mm -hmm. dying, they somehow had the presence of mind to return it to the backwoods cabin rental office. Ooh, that was scary, yo. Don't forget to rewind that tape, though, and return it to the office, girl. These kids watch this tape in this room and then die. I should definitely watch this tape in this room like they did. Why would a horror ghost with any kind of motive make a movie like this? If you're trying to communicate to people some sort of wrongdoing, don't you make it a straightforward narrative? Kid this young walks to school by himself in downtown Seattle. Hey, I don't know you at all, but one day I will for some reason. Well, good talk. <laughs> this movie is 15% shots of VHS tapes being shoved into VCRs. Pro credits. Did someone say the ring on that tape? So, you been working a lot? The director said, eat the only red apple in this entire fruit 
bowl. It'll make you look like even more of an asshole. And it rhymes. Angry ghost left mm. a message, but made sure to do it after intended target left the building. Super curious girl who has been nothing but super curious about her niece's death and its mysterious nature somehow decides not to listen to the haunted answering machine message. You'll be able to see the camera here in the reflection. The angle's straight on, but you don't. Yeah, but is it impossible this ghost director knew camera tricks? No, 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 let me do it. Rachel hired Noah to do this stuff, even chastised him for speaking like a video geek a minute ago, but suddenly thinks she can control the video equipment better than he can. So we're gonna find out in just a second that there's actually someone using this ladder. But for f***ing what? There's no reason any asshole on this earth needs to stick a ladder here, unless they're possessed by demons and need to provide quick symbolism. Whoa, I definitely thought this chick died that first night. Why was she missing from the bedroom when Amber Tamblyn came upstairs? She'll show you. Becca, who is totally and completely screwed up after Katie's death, and I can't blame her for anything, except she plays the pronoun game, so Rachel has to ask who she is. That's all. Four days. How the f*** do you know that? You didn't watch the tape. Does knowing someone who died because of the tape give you days until death predicting powers? Not sure about you, but if I saw a fly on my screen moving forward and back in time with the controls, but then was also able to physically pull that fly off the screen, I'd be freaking my out right about now. Also, why are you able to do this now, but not earlier? Oh, hey, look! The photographer took a picture of this lighthouse at the exact same angle that the ghost shot her film. Not just content with finding important information at the library, Rachel now scours the internet to find the missing pieces. It's great one-two trope combo. Props to the movie for having an entire article about equestrian here, but... Or whenever, seems like a hugely obvious editor's note that made it into the final copy somehow. Oh, no. oh, no. Rachel types something about horses and obviously sees something dramatic. So why does she now need to go into the archives and find articles about this when she certainly saw the very same stories on the internet? Mm. Copies! Excitement! Copies! <laughs> You're gonna die. My cousin was two packs a day. Extremely prescient store clerk turns out to simply be a rude store clerk. Oh, <laughs> shit. She has a kid. I forgot. Just like she did during the last 30 minutes of a movie where she runs around all over the place without any concern for the kid. If there's one flaw in this movie, it's that it tries really hard to explain how important Katie was to Aiden long after she's gone. But before she dies, she never once mentions it. And we never see them together because the movie wanted to start off with that five minute creepy opening. That's totally fine. Just know that relationship is pretty ill-defined. Why is this ghost Freddy Kruegering before the deadline? What a dick. What compelled this dickhead to find some random tape and watch it? No. So why did you leave this tape lying around? Why did you even keep it? And even if you were going to keep the tape, knowing what you do with its creepy power, why wouldn't you lock it up or hide that or something? I mean, you're screaming here, completely horrified this kid has seen the tape, but it's all your fault, babe. 100%. <laughs> So I found the most random VHS tape I could find and plugged it in. No big whoop. <laughs> now you get the sense that the only reason he watched the tape was so that Rachel could be sufficiently motivated to figure out how to beat it. In a weird way, endangering her son's life helped save her. Leave him alone! Rachel? Protagonist answers phone and says crazy to someone who has no idea what's going on cliche. He watched the tape. Rachel plays the pronoun game so that the guy from Britney Spears' toxic video has to ask who the hell he is. <laughs> who watched the tape? Dun dun dun! But also, wasn't that already obvious? Rachel and I were young. Mom's told me that story. But you're goddamn seven years old. Why would she have told you the story about her friends with benefits <laughs> books? Before you die, you said that. Credit sin completely lost its thunder when the guy from Torque said it earlier. Animals know something is f***ed up, Somebody! Yeah, that usually works. Rachel graduated top of her class from the Prometheus School of Running Away from Things. <laughs> When the horse died, it saw the ring. Did you see the representation in the animal room? Sure thing! What do you need? Medical history? X-rays? Got a great picture of her boobs if you need it. Okay, so the guy told the record's room was downstairs, but you need a huge leap that they were in this room marked ECPH Station D. That's some super sleepy. Well, I guess she hitched a ride out here. So, how does she hope to get back? Whenever no one answers the door at a farm, it's customary to wander around said farm like a nosy tabloid reporter. Movie has the constant need to show you what everything is in relation to that videotape. Well, it's a movie in the early aughts, so I'm guessing this old man is played by Brian Cox, who set the world record for being in everything back then. You say he wasn't in Josie and the Pussycats? Think again, f***os, he's there. You're just <laughs> looking hard enough. I don't breathe anymore. Except these will do that to you. I think it's a message from your wife. Jesus, Rachel definitely doesn't believe in easing someone into a tough conversation, does she? Your mom. Terrible babysitter somehow manages to answer the phone while also missing the last two hours of psychotic images her charge has been drawing. Aiden, why did you draw that house? She told me to. God damn it, the pronoun game is f***ing insane in this movie. She shows me things. Why does Samara show you things? F***ing why? Why are you the conduit for a little girl in a tape that you didn't see until yesterday? She goes to my dark place now. Also known as The Well, but it sounds scarier this way. Also, I am now going to forget that Samara shows you things and go about this investigation without asking any further questions, because convenience to the plot. See, when you live mm. on an island, you catch a cold. It's everybody's cold. 
I'm just gonna let Naomi Watts in that. No offense, <laughs> ma'am, but what the hell does that mean? You try and walk out of here with my file, and I'll be on you like white on rice. And that's racist. Luckily, <laughs> Lois found a guy in this hospital who not only knows his story is bullshit, but still allows him to watch the video anyway, because jobs. Let me ask this. No one watched the videotape. Why did the ghost call Rachel's landline instead of just calling him directly on his cell phone? Furthermore, this brings up another question. What if there is no telephone around when you watch the tape? No one answered my knock? Well, I'll just come in. I'm entitled. Luckily for the plot of this movie, the tape no one was looking for just happens to be sitting completely ejected in full view so that Rachel can find it. Jump scare centipede. Rachel also decides, f*** it. I'll just watch the tape right here in the guy's living room. He's definitely not here because he didn't answer my knock earlier. So, movie inspires paranormal activity several years later. Daddy loves the horses. Ah, holy Jesus balls! That scared the time. <laughs> You have to do a jump scare, and that is how you do a jump scare. Now I need to go clean my pants, and take one cent off. He doesn't know what, Amara? Doctor turned off the camera for some reason during this extremely crucial moment. Here you see a woman run up the stairs after an insane man who just hit her over the head with a thing. Because that is just what you do in such situations, I suppose. Didn't she just get hit really hard in the head? No concussion, or scar, or anything? This is an orgy of evidence that this kid lived in a horror kid bedroom cliché. It manages to combine the rocking horse and the music box carousel thing all into one. Rachel, uh -huh. I think this might be blood, so I'm gonna touch it. Oh yeah, that <laughs> etching in the wood is totally exactly the same as the bruise on my arm. Shelter Mountain. Weird. I wonder what day it Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Noah gets mad about the lack of clues, rips the phone out of the wall, and creates an instant clue. That's basically an accident ex machina right there, folks. Who built this? The same people who built the houses in Poltergeist? Hey guys, let's build a cabin completely over this old well. I mean, why not? At least baby Jessica can't get in anymore. I guess Samara couldn't do any of this before because, after all, there was a wooden floor built over the well. Wood mm -hmm. is amazing at stopping paranormal activity. Yeah, no, she's dead. Rachel gets knocked unconscious by her fall, but somehow was able to hold her breath at the same time to avoid drowning, which is by rule a conscious decision. Has anyone in the history of film grabbed a fire hose and taken off running without running out of hose and falling hilariously? <laughs> I'm being serious here, people. More no. Isn't it beautiful here, Samara? I realize you want to give the audience this information, but are you telling me Rachel fell 19 stories into a well, survived, and then had flashbacks of this memory that is not hers? Holy sh**, are saying that's what happened. Rachel saw this decomposed body mm. as a fully preserved human being for some reason. Feel free to make your jokes about Larry King here. <laughs> Wait a minute, didn't the stone lid to the well cover the opening by itself a minute ago? And mm. didn't it take both of them pushing with all their might to get it off in the first place? Mm. Did Noah study gamma radiation with Bruce Banner? It's over. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I'll admit to completely forgetting what was going on with this little demon child within the movie, but knowing this is how he's found makes me extremely satisfied. I set her free. You helped her? God damn it, kid. If you knew this would be a bad thing, why didn't you warn your mom about it? Why didn't you explain she was evil? Apparently, any old ring will do when it comes to your inevitable death. Pick up the phone, Noah. After all, you definitely don't have a cell phone I could call you on during this emergency. <laughs> No one who dies in this movie owns a goddamn answering machine. Rachel prefers the I'm going to take in every last detail before confirming my baby daddy is dead method of discovery. Mm. <laughs> Just the filmmakers here. It's scarier if you don't see what made her scream. Go to your room! No! Just the filmmakers! Was there no babysitter here? I mean, Jesus. Isn't this kid way too young to be a latchkey child? How the f*** did she suddenly sense there was another videotape nearby? What about the person we show it to? What happens to them? Samara basically invented the first successful chain letter with this f***ing video. Also, since when did Samara, from the grave, enter images onto a VHS tape and hope for someone to watch it one day, and hope for someone to catch all these clues before seven days were up, and figure out they needed to copy the tape to live, and, I mean, damn, that is a lot of work for a dead girl. The movie ends on an editing-based jump scare. The guy who would bring you Pirates of the Caribbean next year. Of course. What? Oh yeah, this is the funny part too. I forgot about they do this. They not gonna do it? They better do it. Seven days. Seven days is all she wrote. The kind of ultimate support she gives me. I just got out of a six year relationship, okay? That should help explain why I'm acting so weird. I just wanted you to know that it, it's not you, it's me. I'm sorry. I believe you. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> like everything else. <laughs> Who else can I talk to? I'm lost.
That's what you call it. That's the almond. Oh, the movie is so scary, First, dog. Take a big step back and literally f your own face! <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Hello. Hello. Look, a man is assaulting a woman at 125 West 9th Street. Mm. <laughs> no! Are fools, uh. <laughs> At the end, if you didn't get that, uh, that was her in her on um, the kisser scene in one of her movies. But <laughs> don't that dog. Um, I ain't, I ain't really got nothing to say. The Rain was a cool movie. We actually went to the theaters to go see it way back when it came out. Wait, no, we went to go see The Grudge, not The Rain. Did we go see The Rain? No, we went to see The Grudge. Um, that's pretty cool too. But um I don't really got nothing to say about the um the rain. The rain is a cool movie. Go check it out if you've never seen it. Um it's, it's nice it's a good watch, you know what I'm saying? If you like the whole scary stuff. Um there's no blood in it, so that's good. There's no gore. Um Alright, but that's gonna go go and check out that track on my own description below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Two fingers to the side. Does that?